G'day and welcome back to the channel. This new crazy mother. So it's been a while since you saw this, and the last time you saw it, it looked a bit like this. And um, it's a really windy day today, so sorry about the wind noise. I remember I said I wanted to build it period correct. Well, I think I achieved it. And I don't know if you remember that big box of carburetors. Triple updrafts. First time it's ever been done that I'm aware of. Runs beautiful. I'll fire up in a minute. But yeah, it uh, came together but not without the help of a heap of mates and um, a lot has happened since you last saw me including another major spinal surgery not that long ago so yeah this happened yeah so basically the surgery I had in September last year uh, was a failure and I had to go back and have my spine fused um, it's been a rough old road very frustrating because I don't like to sit still but um yeah this is what it is and hopefully i'm on the road to recovery now i'm about what 10 weeks i think post-surgery um i'll show you the scar hang on all right let's see if i can get this without showing your bum crack i haven't actually seen it myself to be honest so this will be a first for me but i'm told it's a beauty i hope you can see that but yeah still tender it's a lot bigger than I expected it to be and the recovery has been a lot harder than I expected uh, it's pretty major and when they got in there um, there was bone on bone I had nerve issues on both in both my legs from the um, collapsed um, disc and yeah it was a bit of a mess so I think surgery took seven hours they budgeted it for three I think so yeah I was in intensive care for a couple of days um, but I'm recovering well according to my neurosurgeon I've just got to remember to take it easy I'm standing over here so I'm protected from the wind but um, I haven't really done any documentation too much apart from some photos of uh, what we did to this. Um, had a lot of mates coming around and obviously they don't want to be on YouTube and I was just not going to make any good contact, uh, content anyway so I gave it a miss for a while um, but here's some of the the stuff that I uh, documented along the process with a montage. Been off a couple of things I did uh, put my hand to. I um, was cracking out the old Singer sewing machine and I made this um, 
tarpaulin for it, which I was pretty happy with. Um, not bad for a first time. Like I've sewed and stuff, repaired clothes and stuff over the years, but never tried any trim work. And that was pretty easy to do. I actually enjoyed it. So I'm thinking about getting an industrial sewing machine as a new hobby and uh, maybe doing a little bit of trim. But it came up all right. Steering wheel came up pretty cool. She's, uh, she's tidy and it's been to a few events. Um, basically built it for Rattle Trap um, 2019 at Crowdy Head. Here's um, a video and some photos of that. And last weekend, I had the honor and privilege to display my car at the Sydney Hot Rod and Custom Expo. Um, that was amazing. Um, really honored to be there. So why Doris? Well, the name suits the ear of the car, but it's also my grandmother on my dad's side. And I asked my dad if uh, he'd mind if I called my car after his mum. And he said, as long as it's respectful. And 23 was the year that she was born. Um, she died when I was, I think, oh geez, probably about 12 maybe. Um, so a long time ago. But yeah, it's a bit of a tribute to her. And uh, it's nice to have meaning on your cars, I guess. So yeah, that is a picture of my grandmother, Doris. So that photo, that is a copy of the original photo, which I gave my dad. My grandfather gave me this photo um, not long before he died. And the story behind this photo was in 1939, when he was in World War II, British soldier, um, he was dating Doris and Doris sent him this picture. Um, and it said to my sweetheart, um, love Doris on the back. And um, my grandfather carried this around with him during the entirety of the war. So it's got a lot of meaning for my family. My dad didn't even know it existed until I showed him not that long ago. So I gave him the original, I got a copy of it, and uh, it sits in the car here. So a little bit more on the carburetors there, um, Model A Zenus Mark I. Um, there's three of them, they are all connected. They run with a, um, a balance tube in the middle there between them all. Um, I've used an original Model A accelerator pedal and linkage. Um, it works okay, I've got to re-jet it, but I'm surprised how good it runs. And obviously, being a mid-30s hot rod build, I didn't have hop-up parts, so what do you use for air filters? Jam tins, and uh, I think it came out pretty good. The lake-style header pipe is made how they used to make it, with a um, tapered torque tube, which I cut up. I don't think you can see that, the light's not too good. But yeah, come up right, I'll fire it up. Another thing I had a crack at making, uh, for rattle trap you need a seat belt. Um, and I wanted to go period correct, and I've always loved the bomber style, World War II style, but I can't afford one of those, they're ridiculously priced now, so I made one out of an old racing harness and some trucky straps. Three inch, 
and uh, yeah, no sewing or anything, it just um, all they just slide into the uh, the harness um, bracketry, and um, yeah, period correct bomber style racing harness. So, really, this thing's um, kind of ready to get sorted out for Rego, apart from a couple of things which I can't really do right now because I'm still not well. Um, I need to make up some fenders, some cycle guards for it. A um, little bit of wiring, I've got to wire up the brake light, headlights and tail light work. Um, put a horn on it. Um, adjust the brakes, get the brakes working properly because they're not 100% yet. That wind's terrible. Oh yeah, I've got to make up an exhaust. Um, so when I built this, I welded a flange for this, so I'm going to run it underneath and out. And I'll put a blocking plate on there. So yeah, hopefully soon we can get that sorted out so I can go hanging around the streets. A little bit of fun. Oh man! So what else have I been up to? Not a lot. I've spent a lot of time at physio, at the pool, um, doing hydrotherapy. Um, a lot of time in front of the TV. Um, sitting down for long periods isn't good, but I've got to stop a lot. So yeah, one of the things that uh, I've been mucking around with is a couple of mini bikes. I bought a couple of CT or ST70s. This one is absolutely immaculate and it's already spoken for. I've got a mate that wants it. So I'm just uh, fin finishing it off properly for him with all a heap of uh, brand new parts, genuine parts. And I've got another one, which is uh, one I'm going to keep. I only wanted one, but I've got two basically for the price of one. So yeah, it uh, worked out pretty good. And this thing is probably a little bit too mint for what I want to do with it. Too original. I don't want to muck around with it. The other one's up there. Um, it's in primer. Um, it's in good condition too, but it's in a thousand million pieces. And I'm going to make a little custom chopper out of that. Something cool to hang around on and annoy the neighbours. Not straight away though. Give some time. The mongrel's still sitting here. Nothing's happened with that. It's just a bit of yard art at the moment, but I've still got the same plans. I'm going to make the 30 into a pickup with a side view V8 um, and then I'm going to make the coupe which will be well down the track but yeah still here you know I could put a motor in this and run it but I'm not going to revisit the mongrel again we'll, uh, we'll get on with what we're going to do with it eventually the Valiant's still here and still going strong um, this has been an awesome part of my recovery getting in this thing going for a blast I love this car I've done nothing to it, except uh, I gave it a wash yesterday. Looks pretty good. But yeah, it's just get in it, drive it, enjoy it, put it away, and um, happy days. Last but not least, if you remember the old F1, well, um, there's been a little bit of progress on that. My son, I have a 19 year old son who is madly into Skylines and Sylvia's and stuff like that, trying to get him into hot rods. Anyway, I don't really like having modern cars and I've got a modern daily driver. I want an old school driver and um, I'll put up on my Facebook if anyone's interested to help me out. I'll uh, throw a little money their way and my son put his hand up and he said, Dad, can I do it? And I said, mate, go for it. So he's been staying here a fair bit because he's working locally. And um, when he comes, he does a little bit here and there. So yeah, still a while to go on it, but we'll uh, get this thing up and running hopefully soon. Um, it's been good father and son time, so, so yeah, that's something that's been happening on the side and it's been an absolute awesome pleasure watching my son get involved in this and uh, having a go and teaching him a few things. So yeah, I think I'll make a good foreman. <laughs> so yeah, that's it from me, that's where I've been, that's what I've been doing. Um, I can't promise you awesome content at the moment, but I'll post up what I can and um, I've got a few little things, new hobbies I'm looking at, as well as hopefully getting back into this sort of stuff real soon. Especially getting that thing done, you can't wait. But yeah, so anyway, stay tuned, be good to your mates. Oh, another thing, um, when I paused my channel, I lost all my subscribers, so if you are you think you're subscribed, you're probably not. So yeah, hit the subscribe button and um, stay tuned for more. Catch you soon, see ya. Whoa.